Welcome to another video on my BeagleBoard Classic which runs um, embedded Ubuntu Linux or just Ubuntu Linux but then embedded on this um, little board uh, which is connected to a serial cable and I have to keep in mind that it goes out of focus uh, HDMI cable for this monitor, an SD card functioning as a hard disk, and a USB cable which goes to this USB hub which is connected to network cable, and uh, which is also connected to this robo interface which controls then the roller truck that you see here. It's programmed in Python, has um, a chain with magnets to carry the balls that you could see here. A bit hidden now, but you will see. And um, a motor down there to move the um, chain and a motor here with a warm gear to move the tracks. This is a looping that still doesn't work correctly and this is just um, the track that goes all the way down to the picking point where the magnets pick the balls again. And um, last time I had a problem with the fact that roller track does run, well this part at least, um, although it has a, pro uh, a problem here as well uh, of which I still have um, to find the correct solution but I have a solution in mind, hopefully it's the correct one. Of course here you see the oscilloscope where these probes are attached to um, signal the motor um, and these switches. This switch is to get it moving and this uh, and these two switches are there to uh, signal the presence of the tracks and then stop. Last time it turned out that it worked nicely so let's see how things turn out um, and if I can get the speed of the balls uh, high enough that it actually loops the track. Um, takes the looping. That's what I want. I added this um, part to hold it back but yeah although it loops it's not a looping in that case because um, you should maintain speed and that is what this doesn't really do. So should I remove it or not? I don't know yet. I will try. Anyway, that's for introduction. Um, let's run it and see whatever happens. Okay, so, um, roller track. One thing I did point out, here are the balls, down there, and this is a part where the ball loses speed, which is not good. So what I want to do is give it an angle of 7.5 degrees, which I want to locate right here. because it now has an angle that way but I want it to have another angle and this doesn't really look nice but at least it gets something 
Um, will it survive it? Well, the only thing I can do is um, to test it Oops. Uh, while the chain is not running. Oh, and it has a ball here. So, I detach it manually. Oh, wait. Uh, this goes... Well, I can catch it here, of course. So it won't uh, then it won't get down there. Focus is on this part only. Okay, so it gets here. Let's do it again. Yeah, what to do about it? Good question. Let's put the ball back. And let's put the ball here. Um, now another thing is that when I press this uh, switch, it starts running. But the chain goes on. So I should actually uh, change the algorithm in such a way that whenever this is running, the chain stops moving. So let's do that. And I don't like this very much. That would be better. Um, anyway. So this is digital 2, which makes um, this go back and forth, left or right. And then during that, this motor should be halted. So I should actually say here t.set motor one um, zero or stop whatever how did I put it to rest again That's a good one. Not quite sure anymore. Or was it S? I th that could be a possible as well. I have to look it up. That's a good one. Um, oh, by the way, if the digital is 1, that is not. This is that switch, so I should do it here. And if this all has happened, um, then exit with and then write no. Nope small r comma one like uh, it happened before and this is still inside it so that is not a point it should be here let's see if this is correct no it is outside it So if it leaves it, then oh, then it uh, does it again automatically. Wait, that's a good point. So if if the if state if this condition is no longer valid and everything has been taken care of, then automatically it should run again. But I have to be sure that this indeed is the way to stop it, and I'll have to look into that. All 
All right, uh, the S is indeed for stop, so let's uh, try something. Um, start. And there it goes. And uh, then. Oh. There it runs. And now. Okay, I should select this. Okay, this doesn't really work. No, all right, let's stop this. So, what I intended to do, obviously, was to stop the chain, but that motor doesn't stop. So, these balls are all going to be here again. Another point is that the magnet blocks down there also not the uh, preferred way. So let's run again. And then, uh oh, um, press the switch. Well, so far that runs okay, but it now moves, but the chain still doesn't stop. Okay, stop it. If the digital is one, okay. Um, I have to set uh, to say here then print. Um, T dot digital one oops is and then T digital one obviously because I want to know what it is. And then set motor one to stop, which doesn't happen. So what I want to do then is uh, print motor stop to say does it work anyway? Okay. Oh wait, I didn't even save it. That was my problem. Um, let's do it again. Now it will work, probably, most likely. So, press. No. Okay, press again. Yeah, now it stops. Press again. Yes, it stops. Uh, that is not good. What's wrong here? Oh wait, that is wrong. The balls are here. So. That is not good. Um, yeah, that's what I mean. This is not good. So, press. Oh, that's lucky.
this doesn't good uh, go well. So press. So what is happening now? Nothing. Uh oh. No connection. That is not what I want. I lost my connection. Why is that? Then nothing works. This doesn't work or anything else. Oops. Um, like other times, I have to wait. Unknown direction for motor. Why is this an unknown direction for motor? At least I assume that this is yeah T1 and then this is not correct. All right, um, situation still hasn't resolved, um, but um, it does work. And what I can also uh, check is if the Networking connection with uh, my uh, new server is working. It is not. So my network interfacing is off. Oh, now it seems to be working again. Yes. That means that I have. I should have connection here somewhere. Yes, I do. Very good. Quit. Um, what I notice is uh, that this part here is looking downwards. I can move it too easily. And I want to make a guide here that at least this part is not being drawn down. So it should be supported here. Anyway, let's run it and see if it uh, works now again. So, this and then I press. And see, that is what happens when it... And once again. And it's too heavy. See? Uh, Alright. So, I'm not uh, very happy now with this construction. Would it help to have this here? I would think so. Now they go on just by a pure velocity. But they have to press the switch and that's why I need this. So, a little um, modification to be made here. Anything else? Well, uh, apparently, um, obviously, this works now. Um, the motor does stop. So, although, although, um, unknown direction for motor. So, it doesn't work. It stops. But I just looked in the um, online manual and it says, yes, S is for stop. What I could do is see if I can replace this one by a zero if that is better.
So let's do that for a moment. Go and unknown direction for motor still. And the motor still winds. The question is which motor winds? Line 13. Where is line 13? I don't even know where line 13 is. Uh, wait. Line 39 now. This is line 13. Oh. Yeah, okay. Sleep for two seconds. Let's try again. That was the point. Yeah. I have to take the ball off. But Oops. Where is um, my motor stop? It doesn't stop. This doesn't work. This obviously doesn't work. So it has to be uh, right here. It has to be an S for stop. Zero is no. Uh, Result. Oké. Okay. Panning reconstruction or modification right here. Alright, I have this uh, connection part which might be long enough to put it um, to get it working. So I put it right here. Hopefully it won't ruin anything. So let's see if that is the case. Um, let's just run it and see. Oh, the motor should be stopping, but it doesn't. Okay, this is not the idea. Now, nothing works for some reason. Or at least this motor doesn't. So let's be careful and examine why. Where does this go for? Yeah, that's all right. Uh, is this wiring still all right? Uh, let's check the oscilloscope. Yep. All right. This one is still all right. And that one is absolutely correct. So those are not the culprits. Okay, let's check again. Yeah. The motor doesn't stop anymore. That's not good. Um, I remove it. All right. Um, not that that should be the culprit. Or Okay, 
something is wrong, but what? This is right, this is right, uh, that is right. Ah, wait, this motor gives no, um, there's no pulsing modulation on the motor. So, hence it doesn't work. And um, that is the problem. Where's my pulsing modulation gone? Or did it go anywhere at all? Um, this one does work. Or am I measuring the wrong signal? Let's see this way. No. Back here. That is still connected. Okay, let's examine then the interface. It is motor uh, 2 that should run. Yep. Yep, absolutely. Motor 2 works. No doubt. So, what's wrong then? Yep. Here. Control save and try again. Okay, something is. Oh, not again. Yep, network connection is gone again. So, replacing the Wi Fi by wired apparently wasn't the solution. So, right now, I have no connection whatsoever. I can't do anything. Um, what I may do in such circumstances is switch to the monitor. But I have currently no keyboard or mouse attached to it. Um, to, uh, to the vehicle board. So maybe that's a good idea to solve things uh, straight on the system. Good idea. And uh, with this um, lasting problem that I have no network interface, or do I right now? Let me check. Yeah, I just got it back. Um, so that has to be uh, postponed. I would like to test this. Well, let's test this uh, via the uh, diagnostics interface if it works nicely motor 2 and that seems to be guided nicely and that is the problem in this case, so stop. Yeah, with diagnostic interface, you can't uh, time or you have to be very precise. So I will run the program again with the interface. 
run it and I still have no motor and that right now is not a problem I still have no motor so two things to solve first test if this is really steadily walking and oops don't touch the camera so this looks like it's ah, that is better it had pushed itself out of the connection and then I mean the motor has pushed itself out so like this shifting it back that's better actually that would be better anyway this has to be improved and I do need a keyboard and monitor on this one so I can actively interfere on that monitor uh, when the network connection goes wrong again and with that uh, I wrap this episode thanks for watching things go wrong a lot this time and um, well if you like this video anyway uh, please subscribe to my channel um, give the video a thumbs up leave a comment or suggestion what I can improve and what I should do um, you can also follow me via Instagram and Wired uh, and Twitter I mean you can please donate to keep this uh, YouTube channel and my blog and website going by donating via PayPal and Wired. You can also become a patron and have your name mentioned as such. Um, and your name will be mentioned on my website as well as with my videos depending on the pledge you make. This is obviously going to be uh, to be continued. So for now Thanks for watching, have a nice day and bye bye.